Civil and reforms is the key to rural prosperity. Discuss. So according to Marx, when there is small land holding, uh, the, surpl the surplus production will be low and the agriculture remains a large the subsistence. So agriculture remains the largely sub subsistence in nature with a relatively lower productivity. Benefits of land reforms for agriculture. So elimination of jamindari allowed farmers to come in district direct contact with state, thereby allowing access to government subsidies, reduced oppressive reduced oppressive class and that improves improved use of agricultural input for productivity increase, security of tenor. So security of tenor for tenants allowed them to invest in their field for productivity rise. Reduction in land rent allowed farmers to retain more profits for agricultural investment. Implementation of land selling improved access to productive assets to landless laborers. Such farmers with ownership had incentive to work hard, land tenure and consolidation reduced input cost, so advantages of scale and drudgery improving the productivity. Land consolidation especially in northwestern side helped in increasing productivity and later in successful implementation of green revolution. This will lead to increase in resilience in rural economy by diversification of Indian agriculture and its monsoon profit. However, land reforms is only one component, therefore, need to work on other aspects as well. Farm credit cooperationalization, infrastructure needs, storage, transportation market, marketing, and other extension services. Thank you.